In this video, we will show you how to replace your spark plugs. On this Nissan Altima, you'll have four of these located underneath your engine cover. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. To gain access to this, we're going to remove the upper engine cover. To remove this, you'll find that you have three 10 millimeter headed bolts to remove. Now we can lift this up and off of here. There will be one area that's pressed down into position. We'll just lift this straight up and off. There we go. There's the area there. Now that we have the engine cover out of the way, we have a clear view of each one of our ignition coils. Underneath those ignition coils is where each one of your spark plugs will be. The process to remove one is the same for each. Now, before we can disconnect the electrical connectors from the ignition coil, it's a good idea to dislodge the wiring harness from the valve cover so you have a little bit of extra play in this area. You will find that it has two mounting points. To dislodge these mounting points, you can use some long nose pliers. There's little tabs along the back side there. You can squeeze those together and then separate this. To start disconnecting the ignition coils, along the top here there is a locking tab. You want to press that in and then gently separate this. We'll give that a quick check for corrosion. Assuming it looks good, you can set that aside. Before we start removing the ignition coil, it's important to make sure that you do not have any debris along the top of the valve cover that may fall inside this area. We'll use some compressed air. Use a 10 millimeter to remove the one mounting bolt for each ignition coil. Take hold of that ignition coil, give it a little wiggle and lift it straight up and out of the vehicle. We can set this aside. A quick blast of compressed air. Now we can start removing the spark plug from the engine. To do this, we'll be using a 916 spark plug socket. It's important to use a spark plug socket so it will grip it and not break it. There it is, friend. Okay, friend, now it's time to install our brand new spark plug. Before you do so, you need to inspect each one of the spark plugs, especially down next to your electrode and ground strap. Make sure it doesn't look like it's peened over or damaged in any way. Let's continue on with the installation here. We'll take that spark plug and put it directly inside of the spark plug socket, making sure that it cannot fall out. Take this and bring it inside of the tube. We'll start the spark plug in by hand and then bottom it out. Once you've bottomed it out, go ahead and torque that to 14 foot-pounds. Continue on to your ignition coil. It's a good idea to use a little bit of dielectric grease right on the very tip here, which will go up against the spark plug. We'll slide this into position, making sure our electrical harness is facing forward and the bolt is aligned with the mounting bolt hole that's on the valve cover. Start in that mounting bolt and snug it up. We'll torque this to 62 inch pounds. Now it's time for our electrical connector. We'll make sure we have the locking tab facing up, align it and press it in. Listen for a click, give it a light tug, trying to separate it from the ignition coil. That feels good. At this point, the process would be the same for each and every one of your spark plugs. Once you've completed them, we'll continue on to securing the wiring harness. Take that and align it with its mounting points, which are along the top of the valve cover. We'll press that into position. Double check everything along the way. All right, let's get ready to install our engine cover. As you remember, when we had removed it, we had that rubber area that needs to fit onto this mount. Just try to align that. Once you feel as though you have it aligned, gently press it on.
continue on to all three of your mounting bolts. Okay friend, we showed you how to install the spark plug on your vehicle. At this point, you can go ahead and start it up, let it run for a little while, and make sure you don't have a check engine light. After that, take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.